we are in Mesquite. Mesquite's all about some hill climbs. There they are. Today we're on day two of our OAF tour. We're off-roading every day for the next week in different locations. It's badass. And today we're doing the big hills in Mesquite. It's really soft sandy terrain. I was missing my 450 today. I could have if I had that 450, I would have done some damage today. But the old 250, not her cup of tea right here. She she likes a little bit uh, smaller stuff. She likes the flowy hair. things. She does great in technical riding. She's real nimble. Whereas the, the 450 is just the big beast that look, you can hammer down on a big hill. I got my brake issue fixed. That bleed screw that was uh, loose on the caliper. We tightened it up. Went to the store. Got some uh, brake fluid. Dot 4. Filled her up. Let her out. And the rear brake is working really nice. We're just out scouting around. We're going to be heading over to the hills. The plateau climbs to the right. And uh, just kind of right around, seeing everything. But first, you know what I got to do? I got to get that first crash out of the way. And this looks like a good spot for it. So, <laughs> uh, not a big one, but it still counts. It counts. I was good to get that first dump. Out of the way. All right, we got that out of the way. Check that on the box. Boom, crash one, over with. Don't need to crash anymore. Gonna drop into the creek. It looked like it just rained, you know. This would have been crazy if there was a little water going down here. Look, does it look fresh? It looked like it eaten out. Some of the cliffside had collapsed and caved in. See right there, it's all caved in right there. I don't see any fresh tracks, so no one's been in here since the storm last. Kyle, he's riding his brand new 2022 KTM 300 XC, and then uh, of course I'm on the uh, 2007 WR 250, and Colin, he's on his YZ 250X. I don't know what year he has, but it's just a kick start. You know the WR, you can say what you want, it has the electric start, which is a must. <laughs> Be, unless you want to kill your leg, but uh, the e start I couldn't ride a bike without an e-start. I don't I can't remember when the last time I actually oh, kick-started a bike <laughs> It's not good. I'm not proud of that fact. I'm just saying that e-start has changed riding bikes. It is amazing This hill is getting bigger and bigger and bigger Get closer That lip right there. I'm telling you it's like a 40-foot vertical cliff and here goes Kyle he's making his first run let's go to go over the lip there. Was that music to your ears or what? Yeah, it's all echoing. It sounds awesome. That bitch was just singing. But yeah, there's no, like, you can't get over the lip there. You gotta go over here where there's no lip, or maybe right there. Over there? Or to your, you know, right there. Over there. All right, it's my turn. So I'm having high hopes. I'm thinking that the 250 is gonna be able to do some damage to these hills. Um, I don't get the best run up right here. And you'll see I don't get very far. <laughs> it is very, this is just soft. You need some horsepower to get up this hill. Just not enough power. It starts bogging down. I came in third. And it, you know, on these big
big hills, you really got to have some speed, especially when it's so sandy. You got to have that speed to carry you up. Now, if you're in second, you know, it'll track her up and, of course, first, but you're just going to dig a hole and not go anywhere. So you got to have that speed. I'm going to try a little bit different angle. It's not as steep. And I'll get further, but still, you'll see how soft it is. I'll reach down and grab the dirt. This is just really sandy, soft stuff. <sighs> yeah, it's almost just, the it's like powdery sand. Cause it's not like real sand, like a sand dune sand. Just this fine powder. Goes Colin, he's on the YZ250. Let's see what he can do. Let's go! I just did this in the earlier. Yeah. He made it a little bit higher than I did. Right here, there's a creek crossing, and there's a big drop, I like cut the creek, and I just Woo. barely missed it. And if I would have been, uh, you know, six inches to the right, I, I just would have darted right in that creek. And, you know, it was like a two-foot drop. It would have been over the handlebars, but luckily, luck was on my side. I avoided it. See, here's this tiny little climb. Even though it's not a big climb, it's just so soft. And uh, the back tire is just digging, digging, digging. I'm not getting going anywhere.
make any work. I was gonna say, you're gonna get worn out riding like that. Whew. <laughs> this is my day to shine. 145 pounds, 300 horsepower. Easy day. Oh no, let's see, I almost hit that. Hey, you gotta cut over. Yeah, I know, I saw it. I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh. I thought you were going to go right, I was like, don't I go right, don't try Coming up to this climb here, Kyle's in the lead, he takes off, and it doesn't look too steep. So I'm like, alright, it shouldn't be, shouldn't be too hard, that's what I was thinking, I'm like, that's yeah, not going to be that hard. So I, I take off, and I'm trying to get third gear to, to get some speed on here, and it's just so soft, it's making this 250 bog down, and I'm not going to make it. And then Colin's going to come up, and he makes it just a little past me. We take, we're going to have to take a couple runs on this hill. Let's go. You got this. You got this. Come on. I made it farther than I did last time. Let's see if Colin can do it. I almost had it. Pressure's gonna be on if Colin makes it. So I'll be I'll be the only one down here. <laughs> we gotta get it. Colin made it up, so Kyle and Colin are up there. Pressure's on. Let's go, Roxy. We got to make it to the top. No, no stopping. Let's go. God, my line choices are horrible. Paddling and paddling with my feet. <laughs> I got the throttle wide open. I'm in second gear, wide open. Kind of doing a little paddling with my feet. But it's still going forward, it hasn't stopped. This 
motor's going to blow up, but I'm not going to let off. Let's go. <laughs> oh, finally. Oh, my God. So we took a little rest there. We uh, went over to the lip. You can Now you can see how big this cliff is. It's a drop. And uh, we don't want to get too close because it's it's, like it's a huge right drop right there. Yeah. Right, so we're going to go down this hill and in the beginning, Kyle's like, all right, just ride right behind me and you can get video as we do the hill climb. And I'm like, yeah, this is a big hill and it's it's just really, really soft. You know, this whole area is soft and I can't see it enough. I needed the 450. So the 250 is just wasn't the best. But as we get up there, we turn around and Kyle's gonna make a couple runs at it. And <laughs> it's a this is a big hill. There's two parts. You got this lower hill, the top of the plateau and then there's this peak you gotta go up to. So we thought, in the beginning we thought we were doing both at the same time. And we found out it wasn't gonna work out that way. That's a tough one for me. What were you saying back there? I was hoping we can get up. <laughs> Oh, yeah. See if he can do it there. That's a big climb right there. So there Kyle goes, his first attempt. <laughs> yeah. That's the bigger climb of the two climbs. The one we came down, I think it was doable. This one, I don't think the 250 can do it. <laughs> Close. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it, but that attempt he got off the line and went right through a bush about halfway up. All right, let's go. This is the fourth attempt. Let's do it. You got so close yeah. oh, into doing both well, of them yeah. on the first try. That was pretty good. I'm going to give it a couple tries, but it ain't going to work out. I'm just gonna have to let that hill go. Come back when I got the 450 Trixie with me. So I'm gonna cheat. There's a little bit of a smaller hill climb here. I'm gonna hit that. Nice, nice, nice. I actually thought it. That was going to take me a couple of tries, but uh, the dirt was a little packed in. Uh, you can see how rocky it is right here, so I got a little bit better traction. Made it up the first attempt. That was so nice because I was thought, man, I'm going to be exhausted by the time I get up here.
that steep. Look at this rock. I forgot how windy it was up here. You get on these peaks. It's blowing hard. You'd be down the valley. You wouldn't notice the wind, but you get up here and it's like. It's windy as hell. Let's see if we can get some good views. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but as soon as it gets up, it just. Brrr. No torque. Oh yeah, that was a got pretty good. And then it's of course a lot easier but this one might be a beast. I don't know, come up right here, drop right here. Did you go up the left? so close I thought I had that one oh that was it I just needed a little bit more throttle and I would have been over the top ah, next time all right Kyle's up it's my turn I gotta make it up the hill there's no going back no dinner for me I'm just gonna be out here all night till I get up this hill cheat a little bit though. I picked a new line. A line less traveled. And let's see how I do. Yeah boy. I think that still counts. Looks like a lot of traction. Yeah. I think that still counts. That counts as a climb. You know, I made it to the top. You're at the top. I'm at the top. We're both at the top. That's all that matters. All right, let's go. I struggled on that last hill, but I'm going to get this one for sure. Oh, it's getting rocky. I don't know. Got my doubts now. <laughs> Those rocks are just kicking me out left and right. You even get Kyle in the 300. A little rocky. So I make a choice here. I'm like, you know, I think I'm going to try to just make it up the hill instead of doing another run at it. I was so close. And so I'm going to do a little rock packs. Give a little gas, and then a little rock back. Give a little gas. So, just gonna creep up here a little bit. I'm trying to avoid digging a big hole. I just do a little rock back, a little throttle, release of the clutch, and I'm able to, uh, to get to the top. It's like a little strategy. I was like, just, I could have went down, make another run on it. Kyle, he went down, made another run at it. But I was like, I got this. I'm gonna keep doing it. No going back. Come on. To the rock. Just one more. Come on. Oh, one more. There it is. Come on. 
No, come on, one more run. All right, last one, last time. Not one more, maybe one more after that. No, no, don't dig a hole, come on. Come on, get up there, get it. Ooh, all right, made it. I don't know if that was a good choice. <laughs> I spent a lot of energy trying to get up there. Uh, but I got it. All right, let's get some climbs in. What are you doing with the camera? Why is my camera shooting to the ground here? What am I doing? I need <laughs> Raise up, look up, George. You can't, no one can see where I'm going. I'm going up a big hill. No one even knows that. This steep, massive hill. No one can see it because your camera's shooting the ground. Let's try this one out. Alright, good job, you fixed the camera. Now we can see where we're going. Woo! Tried to whiskey throttle it over the uh, lip there. <laughs> it was like a. That was a good little That's foot and a half, it. two foot little lip at the top. And I knew I didn't have the momentum to carry me up that, so I was like, oh, I'll just, maybe I'll get lucky and it'll just jump over. But nope, didn't happen. How is it? Uh, <sighs> All right, time to go down. These big sandy descents, once you start going, there's no way to stop your speed. So you're just like skiing down. It's real soft, you're kind of mushy, and you just gotta keep your balance because there's no braking you can do that stops your momentum. You're, you're going. <laughs> I got even more run up. I'm really going, coming in hot this time. Come on, Roxy, get to that top. I know what I need, more run up. That's what solves everything, more run up. All right, so I started, I went up the other side of the hill so I could hit the downhill with even more speed and then hit this uphill. Come on, let's go, Roxy. Make it. Oh, I'm gonna throw in the towel. Can't do it. So there's this ledge here, and Kyle, he wants to jump off it. <laughs> Trying to turn his bike around, and he, it goes over the lip there. So then he has to go all the way down, come all the way back up again. So Kyle comes back, he's trying to find his point of takeoff here and get his line 
And he's another turn and his bike tire goes over the lip once again. So he took that as a sign. It's not meant to be. So he didn't hit it. I don't think I'm gonna hit it. Alright, yeah, it's probably not smart. It's not necessary. Probably a smart call, you know. It would have been epic, but who knows what could have happened on the landing. coming up this is probably the biggest climb of the day and Kyle he's gonna send it Got a rough start on that one. He <laughs> just full throttle and wheelied right over. close. I think it's too soft, man. Yeah, that's, that's pretty close, though. Yeah, I was in fourth, and then starting to pop up, so I jump up on the tank, drop a third, slowly started losing traction. Yeah. Momentum is like, yeah. All right. All right, let's call it. Let's head yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. All right, RTB. Um, we had a great time here at Mesquite. You know, I recommend it. Uh, unfortunately, I'd have my 450 and the 250 just uh, didn't have, I think, for my body weight enough oomph. Even I, maybe if I had a taller knobby tire, um, even then, I don't think I would have had maybe a paddle. A paddle definitely, I think the hill climbs would have been a different story. But it was what it was. Kyle had a great time. You know, if you love hill climbs like I do, Ski is an awesome stop, uh, especially these type of hills because they're soft. You can just go for them, and you don't worry about hitting the rocks and anything if you don't make it. Or even if your bike rolls, you know you're not worried about the bike getting all damaged rolling down the hill. It's just the soft scenery and stuff. It's beautiful. Um, we came in a great day. I went went come in a hot day. That's for sure. I think the temperature here was around uh, 6 degrees, maybe even a little cooler. It was, so we were having a good time. No 
riding today on the 250. I think it helped me become a better rider. Normally in this soft stuff, I would have been on Trixie and I would have just you know, twisted the throttle a little bit more and the, you know, the 450 just would have went up the hill. Whereas you know, I'm, I've got to up my skill level, work on clutch, pick better lines, better balance um, to get through the obstacles and the hills on the 250 oh, here. So that's no good. And with that, we're going to bring this video to a close. We gotta load up and we're headed up to Warner Valley for a little evening ride and then we've got two days in Warner Valley. Really excited for that. So until then, get out and ride and get some. Yoo!